Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 3rd of February, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Blaise. Saint Blaise, Saint Blaise uh, was the bishop of uh, a place in the present Turkey. Saint Blaise, about him, not much is known, but the popularity of Saint Blaise only increased during uh, the the Crusades. It was during Crusades because Crusades were happening in Turkey, and around that time they came to know that there was a saintly person who was uh, in Turkey and who lived a life for Christ. So he became much popular then. Uh, he was appointed the bishop of native city of Sebaste in Armenia. But when Licinius, the co-emperor of Constantine, how is this now? Constantine became the emperor and he made Rome as his uh, headquarters. So at that time, Licinius, who was his friend, he became the co-emperor helping the Emperor Constantine uh, and uh, ruling from the Turkey, from Armenia. Constantine made uh, Christianity as the uh, state religion, but the other person, Licinius, was not ready to stall the persecutions which was happening against the Christians. And that's how he continued the persecutions and in such persecution, Saint Blaise was killed. Saint Blaise was martyred, he was tortured, arrested and with wool combers brush, he was tortured very, very badly and finally was beheaded. He is invoked particularly against the diseases of truth on account of his having saved the life of a boy who was choking to death on a fish bone. The blessing of Saint Blaise is given by the priest today. By, uh, by touching the people's throats with a candle made in the shape of St. Andrew's cross. He is the patron of wool combers, wax chandlers, builders and physicians. And uh, we, I remember from my childhood how we used to come every year on this day to get blessed, uh, throat blessing as we used to call it. Uh, one thing that I remember about this saint is that once uh, when a boy was dying out of the fish bone, the way in which he saved was beautiful. The words that we, he used was really beautiful. And the same way today even, not only for the ailment of throat, for every ailment we, we can command it in the name of Christ and believe that the Lord will heal and the healer God will heal us. Amen.